Hello friends, and now let's solve the maximum rectangle problem. Given a 2D binary matrix filled with zeros and ones, find the largest rectangle containing only ones and return its area. So this problem basically, I think uh, it uh, is a follow-up of the 84, which is the largest rectangle in histogram. Our solution is based on the solution of this question. If you do not know how to solve uh, the largest rectangle in histogram, I suggest that you first uh, watch that video first. Um, so, as we all know how to find the largest rectangle in histogram, how, how can we use that idea in this question? We can take uh, each we can take each row as a bottom of the histogram which means we will first find the maximum rectangle uh, from row 0 to 0 and then we will find the, the maximum rectangle from row 0 to 1 and uh, 0 to 2 and 0 to 3 so on and so forth so basically our algorithm is first uh, build an a, hist a histogram matrix and uh, check the bottom row by row to find the maximum uh, his uh, maximum rectangle in that histogram and the final return the maximum among all of these uh, maximum values so basically I will first do the best case check if the matrix uh, equal to null or the matrix dot length equal to zero we just return zero and then we get the rows which is the matrix dot length uh, and the columns which is the matrix zero dot length we will use a grid, grid matrix to save the height at each place uh, just like uh, the histogram we use 1D array to save the height in this case we will use 2D because each um, each row and each row it, its height is different so we will new the rows and the columns then we, we will call a builder histogram function we will pass the matrix and the grid to it so we will first implement this function this, well, that is builder histogram histogram and this is the matrix that we also need this grid for the first row we need to take it specialist special so we will first check the first row and this means the column j will less than the matrix dot length uh, sorry matrix zero this dot length and the j plus plus so if the uh, no do not need it. grid zero is the first row so zero j will equal to if the matrix zero j is equal to one then that should be one because we want to calculate the height so if it's one we get one if not we return the zero then we just iterate the uh, matrix i start from one i less than the matrix the length i plus plus and for int j start from zero j less than matrix zero dot length j plus plus so grid the i j will equal to if the current matrix i j uh, equal to one if it's one like this place we should uh, accumulate the height so we will add uh, the um, dp i minus 1 j to it so we will use the agreed i minus 1 j plus 1 but if not the case like uh, uh, this place even if uh, its previous row has 1 but uh, as we will let this row as the bottom so the histogram will be 0 so this place is 0 so now we have filled this grid his, uh, we have built this histogram then we will get the max equal to zero 
then we will like the i equal to zero i less than matrix dot length i plus plus we will let each i as a button so max will be the mass max and we will use a max rectangle function we will call that function and we will pass the grid and the grid and the row which is uh, the bottom which is i and finally we just return this max so let's implement the max return function the first parameter is a grid and the second one is a bottom bottom line right so we use the same approach we will use a stack to we maintain a ascending stack so array deck first we will push a negative one in this case we also need a max and we need a current index start from zero so the case is when the current index is less than grid uh, this is a bottom the length because we want to for each bottom we will check from left to right to um, calculate the max maximal rectangle so while the stack peak not equal to negative one and uh, if the grid button grid button the current index is less or equal than grid button current stack peak which means it uh, does not uh, um, maintain the increasing property which means it uh, does not uh, um, maintain the ascending in the stack we just uh, update the max max we use we pop that we use grid grid button button and we pop and this is the height how about the width width will be the current index minus stack current peak minus one so every time do not forget to push the current index into the stack and uh, increment by one so in the end if the stack peak not equal to one which means they still have increasing elements in the stack we will calculate the uh, max use the grid button stack pop times this time we will start from right to left so we use the like the n which is the grid button dot length minus the current stack peak minus one so finally return this max um okay thank you for watching see you next time